kill you anyway. Yeah, he does that on the, um, on the Chimera Ants, like, King. I forgot what his name is. It's been, it's been some months. What the fuck was that, Lelonio? What the fuck was that? All right, homies, uh, what's up, everybody? The Kaiza is back, not on a uh, Twitch format, rather YouTube format. Uh, Thursdays are usually my long days, so normally don't stream on those days. There is a peculiar video that uh, just happened to service, and what a time, what a time, right? It's like, uh, I think this video came right before like Evo Japan, uh, that's gonna be happening like this weekend, and we're gonna be taking a look at the Hunter Hunter fighting game, right? There was a new Hunter Hunter gameplay like footage courtesy of the CAG Osaka uh, esports team. Uh, that's like the team that uh, where Goichi is from, you know, Goichi, the infamous, the famous Dragon Ball Fighters uh, tourney champion and runner up in a like a prior year, right? I forget like what the his tournament uh history was like but uh the new hunter hunter nen impact uh this was rumored to be this was rumored not too like long ago i think it was like in december where we got like the actual like teaser trailer for the game and uh it's it was in the back of like everybody's mind um we thought it was going to be like an arena fighter but um more news surfaced about Hunter Hunter Nen Impact, and now we got and a few months ago, or I think like one or two months ago, we got like confirmation that Hunter Hunter was going to be shown off and played at Evo Japan this year, right? And yeah, that just like confirms that Hunter Hunter is a actual fighting game if it's got like you know high status tournament uh backing to it right and i was i'm like low-key excited for this game yeah like hunter hunter i recently read and um watched the hunter hunter series and it's a really good series uh, the same uh series that uh by the author who did yu yu haka show so and we recently got reports that Hunter Hunter is going to be doing the anime adaptation of the Dark Continent arc. Um, information's a little bit uh, loosey goosey, but yeah. So it's been a long time since I've seen like Goichi. Holy crap, man! Uh, Last time I remember Goichi was like in the 2017-2018 series of EVO. Last time I saw Goichi was like 2017-2018. He lost to Sonic Fox in one year and then in the following year, he beat Sonic Fox in Dragon Ball Fighter. So it was like a, a journey for Goichi. He looked like a... He looked like a young like boy now like time has passed and this man is definitely like aged up. So we got like some information uh, that it's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has light, medium, heavy, and this is going to be an assist based fighter. Wow, it's going to be an assist based fighter. Um, and what's this like N over here? Is that supposed to be like their uh, like special abilities like Ed, like Nen? Cause they use like auras and like they go fucktastic crazy in the series of Hunter x Hunter that like aura can be used for this, aura can be used for that or some shit like that, you know? But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six playable characters and this is the entire roster. 16 characters? Ooh, that's, <coughs> that's pretty small. That's pretty small, all things considered, though, right? Um, I think, like, 16 is pretty small for, like, a team-based fighter or an assist-based fighter. You normally want to have, like, 30 to 40, right? Uh, 16 is a little bit, like, low barrel, and we had, like, small assist-based fighters before, and I think that was uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag? 
wonder if it's just they're like showing off 16 fighters or if there's like more slots to be like filled you know um because 16 fighters is really like uh concerning in a three bait in a three like team based like fighter uh you want to have like limited limitless number of possibilities endless number of possibilities you know um otherwise it's just gonna feel very like limiting like dragon ball fighters like season one um roster sizes are important in uh most team based like fighting games right it's the very big uh casual appeal and so to have to have like a small number is like i wonder how that will go well right <laughs> The stages? Oh, I think like I know some of the stages. Oh, you can select who's like your starter? Or like your... Ah. Very KOF inspired. You get to select like the order in which you choose your uh, characters. <laughs> Wait, why did it? Why did the camera pan to that? Is that's some like Marvel vs. Capcom 3 camera pan uh, intros? Okay, so now I actually got like gameplay from Hunter Hunter Nen. Oh, what the fuck was that? Kurapika, what the hell was that? You got a Jill like. You got a Jill dive bomb? <laughs> okay, so we got like Kilua, um, the hunter, hunter, the hunter, like chief, on like one side of the team. And we got like Lilorio. Then we got Kurapika, Gong, and uh, Lua. Oh damn, Lua doing combos. Oh shit. <laughs> Lua doing moves. Wait, what? Oh, OTGs? Oh, what you pop there, sir? Is that your X Factor? <laughs> Old man doing business. Doesn't he do like the biggest like fuck you move? Uh, like I may lost the match, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. Yeah, he does that on the um, on the Chimera Ants like King. I forgot what his name is. It's been a, it's been some months. What the fuck was that, Lelonio? What the fuck was that? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> That's so dumb. I love. <laughs> that's so. That's so dumb. I love. I love it. Holy shit. Fucking. <laughs> I know who I'm going to be picking. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> I saw like a cis like thrown around. I saw like, you know, jank like OTG slash ground bounce slash wall bounce combos. I'm like, okay, this is really like uh, a team based, uh, sorry, assist based fighter. Team based would be something like KOF 15, where it doesn't have a lot of like nuttiness to it, but assist based fighters, you can definitely like go ham with it. <laughs> But the way it moves is not very... The way it moves is not very like MVC or Dragon Ball Fighters like. Nah, I don't think so.
Kalua with the lightning bolts. Okay, gone. Oh, ooh, you have air dash juggles. Okay. Who <laughs> wall bounces? <laughs> Saishua Goo. <laughs> yeah, you popped X Factor. Okay, so you have a X Factor X Factor uh, over here called Overgear. Is it act like X Factor in a way like like if you drop like one character, does the power increase and the speed increases? <laughs> Lil Oreo with the headbutt. <laughs> Oh, that's a special, right? That he does like the remote control Nen Fist. Okay, ads. Oh, Kalua tried to bring out. A, he tried to bring out a Kalua assist. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, something about like the attacks and the anims feel like oddly like familiar. Okay, so we got like Kalua, we, we saw it's like level one and two times like it's like level two. The meter system is like, um, you have a max of like four, huh? That's way more, that's way shorter than Dragon Ball Fighters and one bar less than, um, Marvel 3. Oh, Kalua got a, got an install. Oh shit. Uh, uh, oh, damn. Oh, you know what it just remind me of? I think it's... I think it's uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Yeah, I think so. It's because, like, the way, like, the characters move is, like, oddly familiar to the speed of TVC. Now, we gotta do, like, a fact check, right? Does uh, Because TVC had, like, a lot of things, like, I mean, their own unique mechanics, like the barbecue combos, but does it have, like, every character has a universal, like, air dash? Um, does everybody have, like, well, we saw, like, OTGs and, like, wall bounces, but <clears throat> what else, like, TVC, like, kind of, like, had? Oh, it had like the, um, I'm thinking of like the supers, like the supers have like this like background effect, like the galaxy is like shooting at you or some shit like that, like the purple ass background. And if you do like a level three, it changes to like yellow-ish. <clears throat> but yeah, it definitely reminds me of TVC. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, it definitely reminded me of that. Ooh. Gong with the supercharge. Oh my god, Kisoka. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> god damn. Can call in like assists like every now and then. Ground hit, ground hit. Ooh. 
Yeah, so we saw like uh, some unique like characters like Kalua having like two supers and one level three. I think that's like very standard de facto for like an assist based fighter. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my! Oh, I couldn't follow up. <clears throat> yeah, they're doing air dashes. Yeah, very TVC like. Oh, why is it um? Why is it level three? I thought I saw there was like four. Wait. Why is it three? <laughs> oh, Hisoka's level three. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, OTG, OTG, huh? Oh, wait, what? Oh, now it's like five max. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, it jumped from like three to like four. Huh? Like we've been kind of like expecting this game. Of course, and uh, uh, the Kaiser hasn't talked about or hasn't covered a lot of like Hunter Hunter like Nen Impact, right? I wanted to do like the um, <clears throat> the teaser trailer for Hunter Hunter back in like December, but it was way back when and that was like when I when the Kaiser was at his uh, Bangladesh trip so couldn't really do much uh, about about that even though I'll do like Tekken reactions but like I wanted to see what like the gameplay like was first before making any like hopeful like content for um, this new anime fighting game first off for like the gameplay I'm glad that it I'm glad that it got shown off at like Evo, so it got like that elevated status. Also, the gameplay itself, yeah, like very chaotic and jank. <laughs> very chaotic and jank. I like it because that's what like fighting, because uh, that's what like um, assist based like fighters like kind of like are. They just like you throw shit at the screen and like hope for like a lucky random ass like rng hit and then you could like go for like you know a full scale combo but definitely reminds me of tvc just a way of like how characters like move and like all that jazz like it's not super fast like dr uh, it, not super fast like mar versus capcom 3. it is 3v3 and it has Mar vs. Capcom 3 um, isms, like the over overgear stuff. Like everybody has like, you know, meter and... <clears throat> oh, now I just thought about it, right? <clears throat> now I just thought about it. You want to know what the meter system, why it acts the way it is? We have the character select in, <clears throat> in the character select screen. But we had the order select, so it definitely had like it definitely has some KOF isms, right? Because when you select order in KOF, it's like your starter character, uh, well, start the match starts off with one, but the max meter that you can get as your starter, as your opener character, is like three, and then when you go down, when you lose like more characters to like your last character, it goes all the way up to um, <clears throat> all the way up to five. So definitely KOF inspired. It's ve uh, but it is like very jank though, right? Because like Hunter x Hunter Impact is is not a triple A fighting game, and a lot of people were expecting that when the rumors were announced that 
Hunter x Hunter is going to have like an anime like fighting game. Everybody dreaded that he's going to be like an anime, uh, like an arena fighter, like that god awful Jujutsu Kaisen fighting game, like Curse Clash or some shit. But it was highly reassured that it's not going to be the case. But it is like a very like low barrel like type of like fighting game. Like even like from the teaser trailer, like it kind of looks like off. We everybody was like expecting like an Arc System Works style of treatment for Hunter Hunter and no it wasn't like that especially from like the teaser trailer and and then more info came out that the company that is going to be making it is uh Bushiroad uh games and the developer is mostly aiding right as we can like see right here with all of like the dank shit that aiding games can pull off and we have seen them TVC is one of them the Naruto Clash of Ninja games uh, uh, back at like GameCube. There is also Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and most note and most recently DNF Duel. <laughs> DNF Duel has a um, <clears throat> has some like aiding like stuff in there. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like low key excited for this. Not gonna lie, right? <clears throat> I was a little bit skeptical, but now that we see like the gameplay like as is and like characters like doing stuff The presentation is kind of like ass though Right, I will say that Like it looks something off of a It would look something like a to uh, like a PS4 game from like 2000, 2014. Quality of animation is not quite hidden it, you know? Characters doing like, you know, cool stuff, right? Which is very like, if you watch like Hunter x Hunter or, or, or Red Hunter x Hunter, uh, you know, what's up, right? If you're not a Hunter x Hunter fan, like, these things will, like, elude you, right? Um, all the characters doing, like, appropriately, like, lore-wise, uh, stuff, and, um, it's pretty sick just to see, like, Kalua doing stuff. Albeit, it's against, like, my beliefs because, you know, um, there's been, like, so many, like, fighting games, and I was, like, one of those guys where, um, <clears throat> Presentation is not really like everything in a fighting game. For me, as a fighting game fan, I value more mechanics and just fun, right? Just raw ass fun that you can do like in a fighting game. And we had a lot of fighting games, like especially like in the late 2010s, where yeah, the fighting games look pretty as hell, right? Dragon Ball, Mortal Kombat 11. <clears throat> <coughs> Mortal Kombat 11, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Uh, but they didn't play that that well for me. Like they didn't offer like a level of player creativity or like jankness that you can do with other games like Marvel 3, Marvel Infinite, I mean, they're tag-based games, <clears throat> something along, uh, they're tag games, but you know, something along lo like those likes that you can uh, be creative as much as like you can with fighting games and not be limited by like the mechanics, right? Grand Blue Fantasy Versus got like a update where now the game is played much more better and you can do a lot more stylish stuff than you could ever do like before. Um, but vanilla was some like rough shit, hence why it didn't like play it. Like I played like the beta and that's all I, you know, got the experience uh, from. And so I like, until and so I like favored like games that like, you know, that just like spoke to me on like a personal level. Again, I like uh, combos, I like um, creativity, um, I like exploring stuff and like figuring out stuff like uh, long ass like OCD memory uh, long johns and so Hunter x Hunter is kind of like doing that for me just like dumb shit that like you can do right um, I kind of I kind of love that 
been roused at like, oh, if I could do this again, can I do this again? You know, sort of shit like that. It's dumb, like, janky fun. And I, I, and I honestly like, like that, right? Like, the biggest, like, thing for me to get me into, like, a fighting game, like, it... Is there more stuff that, like, you can do? Not just in, like, in a casual level, but just, like, in a mechanic, like, way, right? Um... Some of these, like, mo uh, modern examples that... Which is why I love, uh, Street Fighter 6. I love Mortal Kombat 1. Um... But they're, like, in the balance of, like, you know... They're very good, uh, presentation, art style, graphic-wise. But they also played, uh, played fun as hell as well. So it has like that good mix about it, that good, perfectly balanced as all things uh, should be. Hunter Hunter is not perfect. Uh, Hunter Hunter is not uh, graphically, um, graphically pleasing like to the eye. <laughs> so it's gonna draw away some fans that that look at this that look at this piece and are like, Ugh, brother, Ugh. um. But just the fact that like you can uh you can like do like Marvel ca uh Capcom versus level esque like things that you can do has already like drawn me. I don't care if like if the graphics like look good, maybe like a good like polish up once in a while uh here or there in like some places. But I don't think <clears throat> It would like hurt that much. The character art looks sick, right? When you uh, when you select like the characters, it looks pretty like dope. Um, I put the same levels as like a Street Fighter Six or anything like that. It's not graphically like pretty. This is more like a, you know, not a triple A budget like title fighting game. No, this is rather like a single single A fighting game. Something that's just like there to like pop out for like, uh. $20, which, you know, I guarantee it's gonna be like 60, 60 at best, like DNF dual status. It does need polish like in some areas, but I do like like the jankness of it. I like figuring out stuff, right? <clears throat> right? For anybody that like didn't know, I was like, I'm still like enamored, or not enamored, right? I still, fondly remember to this day my experiences with um the Among Us Arena fighting game. The Among Us Arena fighting game was like a low barrel, not enough funded like beta version of the popular Among Us like uh multiplayer multiplayer game and some guy decided like hey let's make like a fighting game about it and I was super nasty with it. I was like, Among Us fighting game? Yo, let me try this shit out. I played like against eight like characters like online and I was doing like some dank like Power Rangers battle for the grid, 80% to 80% to 90% combos and I was getting away with it. I lost like, I think like probably once. But that game, I have a, I had a lot of fun with because it was a game, it was a game that just like abused like mechanics, like wall bounces. You can do like very dumb looking like combos. Like that's the kind of shit that I like love. And Hunter Hunter is kind of like hitting on like those like vibes like really like really well, you know. I mean, look at this like combo, right? Look at this Lenordeo audio combo. Ugh. Uh, 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 oh, he dropped it. I'm gonna keep doing it again. Uh, 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 you know, <laughs> like dumb shit. Like I kind of love that, you know, <laughs> but you know, I also like that if you can make like a fighting game look good, but also play good, that's where I'll give y'all like support, right? If you can find like that perfect balance of both presentation but also like gameplay then i'll be fine with it i'll be content with it as long as you know it plays good at most of all right one thing i always want in like in a fighting game is like how much stuff can i do is it like is it like can i play this over and over again and like have like fun right can i figure out like more stuff with this like fighting game 
um that's all there that's all what i like really like ask for and <clears throat> some games uh some games that have have like come out in the modern day really do that to me like i love like that shit yeah i dig it i want to play this game right um i'm gonna like fuck up people with like lelodio and do like the dumbest shit possible <laughs> you know i got lelodio on my team i want the um that josuke looking dude um the guy that does like aura interest on your ass with a little cute like little chibi hovering around you um i kind of want i want that character to be like revealed um like who else who else would i like play that i like know of from the hunter hunter like verse probably that uh samurai dude from the phantom trope uh nobunaga yeah nobunaga was his like name or any or or like that short like kid that's like same status to like same height status to like gong and kilua uh i forgot like i forgot like what his name is but <laughs> i kind of want to play play him that would be like my mains that would be like my mains so 